It's been 50 years since the Tate murders marked the end of the hippie era. It was when Sharon Tate's rise to the top was cut short. How did her marriage to director Roman Polanski really look like? Is it true that he didn't want to have her child? It's your boy Mike and Mark here and I'm gonna tell you about Sharon Tate, a girl who deserved better. Sharon Tate's sister, Deborah Tate, keeps her memory alive and a few years ago in the book, Sharon Tate Recollection, she revealed that her sister had an exciting life but because of the tragedy, she could remember only her death. The preface to the book was written by Roman Polanski, who still hasn't come to terms with his loss and as a result of the controversial case from the 70s, he can't even visit the grave of his late wife and their unborn son. Sharon Tate was born in 1943 in Texas. Her father was in the army, so they often moved from place to place. She graduated from college in Verona and studied at the Lee Strasberg Theater in Film Studio. And when she was a child, she took part in beauty pageants and she won the first title when she was just six months old. Then, she made modeling her side job and appeared on multiple covers of magazines. Sharon was persuaded by a friend to try and make her career in Hollywood. She debuted in the movie Barabbas and played in various American TV series. Her first major role was the movie Eye of the Devil alongside David Niven and Deborah Kerr. And her most memorable performance is of Jennifer North, which got Sharon a Golden Globe nomination. The adaptation of the best-selling novel about girls who want to make it in Hollywood, Valley of the Dolls, received bad reviews, but because of the death of the actress, it became really popular. Sharon was named the new Marilyn Monroe and she was one of the rising young actresses. She had no problems with nudity and she could play in both a bathing suit and a fancy costume. She was also considered one of the best dressed girls in Los Angeles and was a fashion icon in the making. She liked to be talked about and even though these were the times of the hippie freedom, Sharon dreamed about real love and family. She met Roman Polanski in London through a mutual friend who has persuaded the director to cast Sharon as the lead role in Dance of the Vampires. Well, it definitely wasn't love at first sight. Roman told Sharon to dye her hair red and he thought he would make her shoot some scenes even 70 times, but by the end of the shooting, they already had an affair. Polanski and Tate got married in January of 1968 in London and Sharon's short wedding dress still is one of the most iconic celeb dresses. They had a few wedding parties and the largest one attended by the Hollywood elite. Tate and Polanski were real celebrities. They were always in the spotlight and on the front of covers of magazines. But their marriage wasn't a piece of cake. The director the director allegedly cheated on Sharon multiple times, and besides that, they lived in an open house and led a promiscuous lifestyle. Sharon, who was madly in love with her husband, agreed to everything. Deborah Tate said that her sister had her ups and downs, but because of that, her lifestyle was more exciting. Sharon's sister assured that the couple loved each other, and if her sister was alive, they would still be together. There still appear reports about Polanski's supposed bad treatment of Sharon. There were reports that he tried to convince her to terminate the pregnancy. The director supposedly didn't want a child, but Tate made a decision to keep it. However, his friends who saw him after he got the news about the death of his wife said that he had completely broken down. Polanski referred to this tragedy in his autobiography responding to multiple media reports that said the couple were punished for their promiscuous lifestyle. The Tate murders caused chaos in America, which calmed down only after the Manson family was arrested. The cruel murder without a doubt changed Hollywood and turned Sharon Tate into a legend. In 1979, Polanski made the movie Tess, which was based on the book that his wife had read on the evening before her death. The director dedicated the movie to Sharon and later he wrote that when he watched the spectacular sunset or visited a beautiful old house, he thought of how much his wife would have loved it. 50 years after her tragic death, four films about Sharon Tate's life will premiere. In Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Margot Robbie played the part of Sharon, and in The Haunting of Sharon Tate, it was Hilary Duff. There will also come out Tate with Kate Bosworth and Charlie Says with Grace Van Dyne. I can't wait to find out how Sharon Tate will be portrayed in these movies. Do you think that Sharon had a chance to make it to the top? What do you think about her relationship with Roman Polanski? Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to become part of of our Curious Sips family. See ya!